Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Mankind is pretty good at creating huge machines to do our bidding and to make our lives easier. Things you might see in everyday life can be supersized to be even more efficient. Today we're going to show you the most amazing next generation machines working at full capacity. Number one will completely shock you, so watch out for that. TaxiBot This machine is nothing like what the name sounds like. You probably think that airplanes are too big for any machine to carry them around, except for another plane itself. We thought the same until we came across this amazing machine called the TaxiBot. It's a semi-robotic, pilot-controlled towing tractor. The vehicle tows the aircraft close to the takeoff point without running engines. This process will be steered by the pilot. Taking care of our environment, this innovation will help to reduce CO2 emissions and reduce the use of fuel. This amazing machine was first used by Air India. TaxiBot saves precious fuel and also reduces engine wear and tear. The ignition is turned on only when the aircraft reaches the runway. The usage of TaxiBots will significantly bring down the consumption of fuel by as much as 85% during taxiing of an aircraft. TaxiBots will also help in decongesting boarding gates and the apron area by providing efficient pushbacks. At least some companies are working toward lowering carbon emissions. Fiore DBX35 Concrete equipment manufacturer and supplier Pan Mixers recently launched the new Fiore DBX35 self and front loading mixer to cater to emerging markets in Africa. This Italian designed and manufactured mixer is the smallest entry level front self loading machine in the Fiore range of mixers. DBX35 is the most compact and price worth concrete mixer with a front self loading system in its class. Its small dimensions, combined with excellent handling and stability features, assure a maximum performance of 3.5 meters of cubic concrete. The wide cabin windscreen and the specially designed loading arms dramatically improve visibility during casting operations too, meaning you don't have to turn off the mixer to see how the mixing is going. This high productivity self-loading concrete mixer is price worth, easy to use, reliable, and features excellent daily performance as it's been reported it may reach even 100 cubic meters of concrete. Thanks to these characteristics, it's the ideal solution for rental purposes and for maintenance operations. Hitachi X8000 There's no job too big for the X8006. Hitachi Construction Machinery Company developed the ultra-large hydraulic excavator as the largest class in the world. The hydraulic excavator has a 9.9 .9 meter high cab is 10.5 meters long with an 8.65 meter wide undercarriage and a maximum digging reach of 20.5 meters. The excavator has a bucket capacity of 45 cubic meters and a shovel capacity of 40 cubic meters, which can remove 75 tons of whatever you're digging in a single load. It's the company's largest mining shovel and it delivers incredible arm crowding, breakout force, and horsepower. It's equipped with two 16-cylinder Cummins diesel engines that produce 3,880 horsepower. You get efficient engines, a comfortable cab, advanced hydraulics, a tough frame, and a powerful arm, all on this excavator so you get more work done every day. Ploger AR4BX The Ploger self-propelled four-row bunker harvester was designed focusing on the client's demands, harvesting potatoes without compromise. If we get into all the amazing features of this machine, it may take the rest of the video. One of the best things about this massive machine is that unlike most harvesters, it exceeds in total filtering area. With the chassis on the outside of the sieving webs, the flow of potatoes is free of obstacles with no narrowing. Due to the variety of possible cleaning modules, it enables you to compile a harvester that fits your demands. The industry-leading hopper capacity enables you to organize logistics more efficiently Low transport speeds combined with the lowest possible drops and the unique soft pocket elevator guarantee very friendly handling of the potatoes. The machine makes sure the potatoes are not hurt in any way. Next time you eat some amazing fries, be grateful because it probably came from a potato harvester. Senaboggin 860 Hybrid Machine The next beast on this list is the Senaboggin 860. It's a handling machine with clam-like features it can also be used as an excavator. The 860 has established itself with customers all over the world during the past few years, 
particularly with port handling. Wherever the range is combined with convenient lifting capacities, the new Cenobogen 860 is equipped with state-of-the-art machine technology, high comfort, and the utmost reliability. It has further optimized its material handlers to a high level and adapted them to increased requirements. The new machine generation is driven by a powerful 261 kilowatt diesel engine complying with Tier 4F emission standards, including automatic idle stop and eco mode. As satisfied customers prefer increased lifting capacities and a greater range, this was taken into account while designing this amazing machine. It's jacked up with the equipment lengths of 18 meters to 23 meters. Thanks to the innovative Cenobogen Green Hybrid Energy Recovery System, the new material handlers save up to 30% more fuel. Isn't that just amazing? NASA Crawler Transporters Big space rockets are used to transport satellites and manned spaceships into orbit, but before they can do that, somebody has to wheel them in place on the launching pad. In order to move the Saturn V, NASA had to develop a truck that was nearly as big as the rocket itself, a 2,750-ton, 39.9-meter-long crawler transporter. Though built in the 50s, this machine is definitely timeless. It was designed to be powerful enough to move the equivalent of three Saturn Vs, though nobody has ever tried such a feat. The two crawler transporters are the largest tracked vehicles ever built, and they cost about $14 million in the 60s, which would translate to about $100 million in today's dollars. Bell as 75710 We've all seen massive vehicles that can dig and huge excavators. What about vehicles big enough to shift all that earth? Belaz 75710, with a payload capacity of 496 tons, is the biggest dump truck in the world, one capable of moving 450 tons in one go. That's the weight of about 90 elephants. The ultra-heavy dump truck was launched by the Belarusian company Belaz in October of 2013 under an order from a Russian mining company. Sales of the Belaz trucks were scheduled to start in 2014. The truck is 20.6 meters long, 8.16 meters high, and 9.87 meters wide, and the empty weight of the vehicle is 360 tons. The power output of each engine is 2,300 horsepower. Now that's some machine, isn't it? The vehicle uses an electromechanical transmission powered by alternating current, and the top speed of this beast is 64 kilometers per hour. Vera The next generation machine on our list is Vera. What would trucks look like if they didn't need to accommodate a human driver? Volvo Trucks Vera vehicle is an exploration of this idea, getting away with the cabin entirely so it can more efficiently tow goods around ports and factories. The thinking is that one day, fleets of connected Veras can dash around ports, factories, and other facilities with large loads on the back. Communicating with one another via a control center over the cloud and using AI to optimize timing and routes could optimize traffic flow, keep operations running smoothly, and minimize waiting times. Other than its amazing functions, the vehicle actually looks amazingly cool, just like a supercar. It is a completely electric automated truck that is supposed to change the waiting, loading, and moving operations. In other words, robots really are taking over. Bucket Wheel Excavator You might be operating some big machines on your construction site, but chances are none of them can come close to the Bagger 288 Bucket Wheel Excavator. Imagine the work you could get done if you have a machine with 18 buckets, each with a capacity of 6 tons. That's the capacity of this massive 30-story tall Thyssen Krupp Bagger 288 bucket wheel excavator. Measuring 310 feet tall and 15,500 tons in weight, the Bagger 288 is currently being used at the Hambach mine in Germany to extract coal. It took Thyssen Krupp four years to build the Earth Destroyer and cost the buyer around $100 million. Set on four crawlers, the excavator can move up to half a mile per hour and is operated by 5 to 15 people at the same time. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Modified Excavator this seems like an excavator with a modified crane at the front. The machine looks more like a mower than an excavator. 
These machines are popular earth-moving vehicles that usually feature a bucket, arm, rotating cab, and movable tracks. These components provide superior digging power and mobility, allowing this heavy equipment to perform a variety of functions, from digging trenches and breaking holes to lifting away waste and excavating mines. Nowadays, excavators have been modified so much that some even can move like spiders and can also be controlled with remotes. CNIMPTA the PTA that is manufactured by CNIM is a modular assault bridge, a unique gap-crossing solution. The modularity offered by the PTA provides a tactical advantage for vehicles up to class MLC-80. Since 2009, the modular assault bridge has been commissioned into the French Army under the name Sprat, which should mean fancy in French. This modular assault bridge is the most innovative equipment of its kind. The modularity of this machine allows the Army to adapt the length of the bridge to the width of the gap. It gives the system an operational and economic advantage over all existing assault bridges. A PTA system comprises two vehicles, a launch vehicle equipped with two bridge elements and a support vehicle comprising a semi-trailer carrying two additional bridge elements. It's one cool freaking machine to work with. Which one of these machines did you like the most? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.